what's up collective it's your girl the flight empress and i'm here to give you guys another energy update for the weekend so this reading will be for february the 23rd to the 25th um it's it's it could be timeless okay whenever you come across it that's when this message should resonate with you but i am aiming for this weekend um, remember that if it doesn't resonate with you, flip the energy around. This could be you or someone else that you're dealing with. She could be a he, he could be a she. This could resonate with your past, present, or your future energy. For all of my A1 Day Ones, thank you guys for returning. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Um, it's always a pleasure to have new subscribers, new people, and our collective energy. But y'all, we're going to go ahead and dive into this real quick, okay? We do got the full moon coming up Saturday, okay? February the 24th is the new, the full moon. <laughs> I want to say new moon because I'm picking up new energy coming in off of this full moon. There is a new phase that's coming in, and this is going to be a massive phase, it's like spirit is preparing us for springtime. I'm almost getting like uh, removing old energy or past energy so that we can rebirth something new, something that's going to be better or something that's different. I'm hearing this is a change that you've been wanting. Now, this full moon is going to be in Virgo energy. So I am seeing a lot of changes coming in regarding <clears throat> the collective, especially regarding like work habits or um, routine, certain responsibility structure, the way we build our life, okay? There's going to be a lot of change that's going to be coming in around this. I'm also picking up on analytics in detail. So you could be um, getting more creative as well. You could be trying new th things or doing things that you haven't done in a while. Uh, but I'm seeing that um, for a lot of you guys, you're setting up a different routine or different structure in your life. Okay. So the first card we got here, it says it's time to embrace life fully. And I do feel like this is something that the collective have not been able to do for a while. Or uh, family, for some of you, this is it's like you don't had a really rough life. You had to take on a lot on your shoulders on your own. For some of you guys, you could be single parents. You could have had to um, endure really heavy responsibilities ever since you was a child. You could have took on um, a lot in your life. And it's been really hard for you to really enjoy yourself or, you know, do things that you love to do or, you know, just be happy fully. Because I'm seeing like there could have been a lot of stress in anguish or you know there's just been a lot going on in your life and it's like when you do want to be happy or live your life you're all so kind of pessimistic that something is going to happen or something is going to come up i'm almost getting like fearful to live okay for some of you guys um this is like walking a safe line or playing it safe I do feel like spirit is wanting for you to play things safe and prepare, but don't be pessimistic, okay? Preparing and being pessimistic is completely different. Preparing is something that we need to do. It brings structure and balance in our life. Pessimistic is the energy we operate when we are in fear. So I am seeing that there's a change coming here, and I am seeing that you guys are going to be embracing life like really um, enjoying yourself and doing things that you love, um, having fun, not being afraid to be yourself. Spirit puts you, for a lot of you, spirit puts you in like this solidarity type of energy for a reason. For some of you guys, well, for all of us, we needed time to reflect on our own lives and time to go within and see certain things about ourselves that was conditioned in our lives. So you could be looking at like um, certain things that you fear or certain things that you could doubt yourself uh, regarding. This could come from like other people 
other people could have installed fear in you or doubting you i am seeing that you're going to be releasing a lot of this and by you guys releasing these false they go to train by you releasing like false ideas about yourself or about life um this is opening up a brand new beginning for you especially when it comes to things that you love or things you want to create things you want to see in your your life or even certain things you want to see in yourself you're starting to see that um a lot of things that you could have once believed was actually other people beliefs okay this could have been their beliefs about you um you're also you're learning how to stand on your own and not be codependent on other people to bring you happiness i do feel like family you're finding happiness within yourself within your own life you could really be enjoying yourself at this time or enjoying what you're creating or what you're changing in your life as well and it's like when you're around other people sometimes when you're around people too much um you could take on their thoughts or you know their goals their dreams spirit is calling for all of us to think for ourselves and i'm also picking up like there's a need for you to be in this energy because a lot of you guys there's people and these people could be hidden from you that um is secretly jealous of you okay of your ambitions of your um desires of your dreams um for a lot of you you possess a power that a lot of people don't have okay like when times get hard you keep going you just don't stop you don't give up you keep going sometimes you might need to take a break um but there's people around you that cannot do this these are people who is easily um defeated okay a lot of times they're defeated by themselves or they put themselves in competition with you and th that's another reason why spirit is calling for us to like focus on ourselves at this time or setting our own energy because for some for some of us yeah we've been going through back breaking work this life has not been easy or the things you've been trying to accomplish has not been easy but like i said you've been dedicated devoted you're sticking it out you're coming up with a plan you're preparing you're analyzing you're paying attention to detail um when you are tired or exhausted you're taking a break but you're jumping right back in it and that's why you're being rewarded we got the god card coming out get ready to receive a gift that you've been wishing for it's being granted so yeah so there's something here that is being granted to you i'm hearing the golden ticket so this is giving me like something that you're only invited to or this is something that's specifically for you and like i said there's a need for you to like not tell people what you're doing or celebrate with certain people um i am seeing that there's a lot of karmic energies that's being cleared out in your life by high ranking spiritual beings your spiritual ancestors um spirit guides your ascended masters the most high source is getting rid of a lot of karmic energy to clear your path and clear your way okay because this is a new beginning for you you're also receiving divine instructions so spirit is wanting for you to listen and watch out okay pay attention to signs synchronicities um i'm hearing an anagram so you could be getting messages from the spiritual realm and it might not make sense i'm almost getting it being like a puzzle and it's like you're playing scramble i'm hearing scramble so it's like you're having to like decode certain things or really um listen to what the most high is telling you yeah you're receiving like um a, a blueprint of certain things that you're needing to do and this is going to bring you into your full power your full strength and like i said spirit is saying like if you're feeling weak right now he will be your strength he will be your power only thing you got to do is call on him and ask him to restore you and i am seeing family you are being restored okay but you like i said you got to be careful because <clears throat> you got a lot of people who's in secret c competition with you they feel like anything that you can do <clears throat> they can do better 
there's a copycat energy out here that's wanting to do the things that you do but i'm hearing that they don't have the instructions they don't have um certain gifts that you have they don't have the power or the strength that you have to succeed or accomplish something and i'm seeing that like the hardest part in your life here is over with you have defeated a lot okay i'm almost getting <clears throat> like you defeating your own demons are you defeating the devil you de defeating like false illusions fears um temptation you're you just done triumph over a lot you done defeated some type of battle here and i do feel like this is helping you grow i'm hearing on a massive level okay your spiritual gifts has grown to a massive level level it's like everything around you is touched by your energy i am seeing that family you can even be noticing like animals are very active around you at this time <clears throat> there could be like um this could be animals in your neighborhood that always stay around your house they're not your pets but they stay around your house or this could be strays walking up to you, stray animals walking up to you, wanting to be pet by you, or, you know, they like your vibration or they like your energy. They see your aura, okay? And you present this um, angelic, God-like aura. And I'm picking up, like, you're going to be receiving messages from animals here. I'm hearing telepathically for some of you guys. Um, you can have a cat or cats. Somebody got cats. <laughs> okay, but um, this could be dogs as well. But it's like um, when you, when you're in their energy, it's like you can sense what they're feeling or they can sense what you're feeling. Um, you're going to be able to like tell what's going on. Or like also I'm getting like um, spirit guides, animal spirit guides coming towards you. So whatever you're thinking of at that, that time, something very sporadically could be happening. Or like I said, you could be noticing the animal acting very strange or different or is wanting to be around you a lot. I feel like they got a message to tell you. This could also be like birds. <clears throat> yeah, I'm hearing birds. Um, yeah, spiritually bound. So family, for some of you... Um, there could be animals telling you or warning you about certain people. So say, for instance, you, you do got a pet. It's like when a certain person come around or like if you're having a conversation with someone, your animal can start acting very strange. Like you can have an animal that um, is real friendly, sweet, kind, loving. But when this one person come around, they get the growling or I'm hearing a cat say, <laughs> you know, they can sense dark energy on certain people. Spirit is wanting for you to be aware of this. Like, I don't know why I'm getting like somebody at the grocery store and it could be like a random cat or an animal walk up <clears throat> while somebody is having a conversation with someone else. But this animal like being around you, but it's like they're, they're um they don't want to be around this other person okay and i'm hearing like warning like they're warning you that somebody isn't right or somebody have like dark entities attached to them yeah um spirit at this time is telling a lot of you guys that you're needing to create something with your hands um, this could be um, DIYs. This could be things that you you make. This could be um, information you know. You could be using the computer for certain things. Or like I said, you could be building something with your hands. Um, but I'm hearing like creating with your hands and your mind, with your spirit, okay? Something about spirit communicating with you telling you what you need to do and you're needing to take action on it yeah like i said family you've been going through a lot here but you're receiving divine instructions the hardest part is over with in your life and it's time to create with your hands it's time to build and grow okay
It's time to build and grow. Spirit, look at this. Two of Wands strength. So, like I said, this is planning, preparing, getting ready, getting organized, um, leaving something here behind that's completed. You are in your strength and your power. You could be a Leo. But, um, yeah, you got the energy of a warrior, okay? Um, people could look at you as being very nice or friendly, very beautiful. I'm hearing goddess type energy, but they don't know the beast that lies within. You're stronger than you look or you're stronger than people think you are. I'm seeing um, you're going to be focusing your power this weekend or focusing your energy. For some of you, you could be like revising something or evaluating something to make it different, better, okay? Or something dealing with structure. You could be coming up with um, like a schedule, a vision board. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. But you're going to be taking a lot of action. You could be taking action in your creativity. Yeah. Spirit, what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. This is a new beginning that's forming in your life right now. A rebirth, a renewal. Okay. Yeah, there's a there's a gift coming in for you. Okay. The God card. There's a gift that's coming in for you. Okay, but I feel like it's something you're doing or something you are um, taking action in or you're about to take action in this. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Yeah, okay, you know it's time to take action. Okay, you know it's time to take action. Um, you receiving messages here from spirit, from source, from your loved ones that done passed on, um, that there's uh, feuds coming, okay? It's something about the feud of your labor because we got pomegranates, okay, in the back of this high priestess. Some of you guys could be eating pomegranates or um, it would be a wise idea, okay? Something about... Um, Restoring your passion, your happiness. Yeah, because this is like a passion feud. So something about your passion being restored. You could be working on the laptop or doing some type of work, um, researching, receiving divine information, and um, taking action. It's what I'm hearing. Yeah, something about you guys taking action or receiving divine information here. And this information could come through on the internet or this is something you're doing on the internet or on your computer. But you're finding balance here. You're finna find a lot of balance by doing this. And this is going to help you embrace your life fully. I'm getting like work smarter, not harder type of energy. Yeah, work smarter, not harder. So it's like you're coming up with, um, I'm hearing the right codes or the right information. And this is going to restore happiness here. This could be within your family, okay? I'm also getting like a lot of peace coming into your life. You could be, um, prioritizing like your family and your work life at this time as well but also making sure you're taking time out for yourself i'm hearing no longer neglecting yourself there's a gift that's coming in for you for you being obedient for doing what you was told to do you could like to wear hats Okay, somebody could love to wear hats or um, I'm here headwear. But I'm seeing that um, 
for a lot of you guys, you're also going to inspire people um, to do the same thing, or you could be inspiring your children as well. Um, there is a child here that's looking up to a lot of you. I feel like you're a major inspiration, or this child watches everything that you do. And this is some, this is a child that um, is really gifted. This could be a child that has spiritual gifts like you. It's like, um, for a lot of you guys, you want to see the change that you want to see um, in your future. Like you're, you're the starting point regarding your generation. And I feel like um, there's going to be children or people in your family that's going to want to follow you or is going to want to um, have that type of life that you have. Okay. Yeah, you being a curse breaker is what I'm hearing. But uh, yeah, I'm seeing like a lot of fulfillment here. And something about children, you could be spending time with your children over the weekend, okay? Maintaining that balance of work and play. Spirit. I'm also here in meditating under the full moon. Oh yeah, baby. There's some type of hardship you're letting go of or is being released from you. Okay, this in upright, this is the wounded warrior energy. <clears throat> but in a reverse, I'm seeing something being healed. Okay. <clears throat> no longer having to put up a fight. No longer having to um be on guard or stress or worrying. Like this is a release that you're gonna be going through this weekend. Okay. You're going to be releasing some type of burden off of your back or trying to do too much at one time. I'm here and putting priority first. <clears throat> Baby, somebody don't want me talking. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, putting priority first. You could have been dealing with a sash or... For some of you guys, you are Sagittarius. Spirit. Baby, look. What? We got the Hermit coming out for solidarity, okay? You was in solidarity for a reason. I'm telling you, this is reflecting, okay? This is reflecting. For some of you guys, you was hesitant to do something. Both of these women are looking at a laptop. For some of you guys, you was reflecting to do something, to look at something, to take action on something. Um, you could, you might have like lost your inspiration or your passion, but this is being restored. Yeah, I'm hearing you done grew. Okay, you done become a lot wiser. I'm also picking up like um, your protection is a lot stronger as well. I'm hearing black is power. Okay. Um, something about um, some of you guys, you are in your, <laughs> and I was telling uh, one of my homegirls this the other day. I said, yeah, I'm in my divine empress uh, villain era okay so yeah for some of you guys you're in you're using your dark feminine energy to build to grow to create yeah but you're doing this not in a toxic way but in a healing way incorporating your dark and your light okay um when you think about the yin and yang Divine feminine, divine masculine. Divine feminine is creativity. Okay. Um, divine feminine is connecting to your higher self. It is your psychic self. Okay. Um, this is finding unknown sources or sources that you can't see with your physical eye and being able to build, uh, procreate, and grow. So, yeah, something about you guys working with your dark feminine energy at this time 
to create, okay, to grow, to build. But yeah, something that you wasn't doing before, I feel like you're doing it now. Or you're taking time out to get something completed or done. And this could have caused you to like be alone at this time. And it's okay. It's okay, family. Okay? Because I feel like you're going to come out victorious in this situation. So we got the King of Cups here. Um, We got Virgo Energy, King of Cups. There's some, <laughs> there's the energy here that is really um, focused on you, reflecting on you a lot, okay? Um, this person could have strong emotions for you, but I'm getting that they're hidden. This this is somebody who's not telling you um, that they still think about you or they want to reach out to you, they want to talk to you. Yeah, I'm getting hesitation, Okay. I feel like spirit put you in this solitary type of energy to protect you from this person. This is somebody who know how to manipulate emotions or play with your emotions as well. It's like you could be doing all good and you know you happy and as soon as you hear from this person or as soon as they reach out, they interfere with your energy. I had to pause the video for a minute, family. I had to take my daughter to work. But um, this could be a Virgo that's in love with you or is obsessed with you. Or this person is going to be thinking about you during this Virgo full moon, okay? The snow moon that's coming up Saturday. But I'm also getting like some bad mojo or bad energy is being sent back, okay? Somebody could end up receiving some type of karma around this full moon. Okay, especially if um, this is somebody who had bad intentions for you or um, has been interfering with your energy. I'm hearing touch not my anointed one. Okay, touch not my chosen ones. This is somebody who touched the wrong person or the, they, they fucked up. Okay, they messed with the wrong person here. Yeah. Um, spirit clarify this okay yeah something is by what something is being sent back to this person around this time family okay um this is somebody who's reflecting or looking at you and seeing that you have moved on or um you have like completely detached yourself from them and i do feel like this person is wanting to come towards you but they're in their head right now because they know all the bad deeds, misdeeds that they've done to you. They know the pain they caused you or inflicted upon you. Um, this could have been somebody who had people gang stalking you, okay, interfering with your life or your progression regarding um, your business, especially if you are on the internet, social media. You could have had a lot of people gang stalking you, okay, because of this person. There was other people that was interfering with your energy because of this person. But this was somebody who um, did a lot of manipulation and caused a lot of pain when it came to like you rebuilding your life without them. This person didn't want to see you rebuild your life. Spirit, yeah. yeah. This is somebody who didn't want to see you rebuild your life, okay? This person is sitting back watching you work. Like I said, like I, this, I'm telling you, this is somebody who's watching you work or watching you build, grow. Um, and like I said, it, it, they could be wanting to come towards you. They want you to work with them or this could be somebody who's wanting for you to take them back. But your ancestors are clearing this person out of your energy or removing whoever this is once and for all because they keep trying to interfere with your life. Yeah, something about your work being protected, though. Whatever you do or whatever you're trying to build or manifest, this is protected. Yeah, 
Let me get another card so here. This is, um, yeah, <laughs> baby, yeah, you, baby, you're walking away. You're being, you are being guided to move on, to keep going. Yeah, yeah, something has been cleared from your path. I keep hearing that as well. Um, you're leaving this lack and this unhappiness or you know, you pouring into other people's cups and them not pouring nothing into yours. You're leaving all of that behind. This is spirit restoring you. You are going towards your nine of cups, okay? Yeah, something here is meant to be broken at this time. And I do feel like it's some type of suffering or something you've been going through for a while. But the, yeah, you're being led to move on. You are receiving instruction. This person in this car is walking. It's at nighttime. How can you see where you're going? This person is receiving divine instructions here. Okay? So, like, you might not see where you're going right now. You could be just taking action. I do feel like, you know, you got the steps or you are prepared. But now it's in God's hands. You got to put in the work. You are putting in some type of work, but you don't know what it's going to lead to or if it's going to be successful. And I feel like it is. I feel like it is, though. Yeah, something about you being led to your happiness. And look, we got the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. The Eights has been coming out a lot. So what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is 2-24-24. 2 24 24 so is that not eight hmm. something about eight Twenty-four, twenty-four. So family, I feel like tomorrow is going to be a very significant day for you, a very powerful day. Um, actually, I feel like all three of these days are going to be very powerful. But this full moon is going to be massive, okay? Use this energy to um, put your intentions, set your intentions, set the frequency for this year, okay? That's what I'm being told. So it would be a good idea for the family if, if you guys are up to that. Um, you can do like a prayer or a meditation at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, for 8 minutes. And then do a prayer and meditation um, at 8 o'clock at night for 8 minutes. Okay, something about the frequency of 8. Yeah. Something about you um, setting the frequency for this year at this time, okay? Regarding work and what you love, working on what you love, working on what makes you happy, and working on what's going to um, bring you success or prosperity in your life. Nine of swords and your ancestors gonna come running okay giving you the 411 nine of swords is a messenger so yeah something about family um tomorrow need to be a very special day for you so you can set your intentions or you can ask your spirit guides your angels any information you need to know anything that you might be still in the dark about or um you need answers on you're going to receive a message, okay? Yeah, the messenger. I'm hearing the messenger. Knowledge. Something here is going to come to you. And it's going to come to you very swiftly. This is giving me like the veil being very thin and you being able to receive answers. Hmm. 
somebody could be coming in to talk to you over the weekend as well i feel like you could be um hard at work or but it's not giving me hard but it's giving me like you putting in your all into something you're trying to um grow or achieve or you want to see progress in you could be doing some type of spring cleaning or um you could be on a schedule or something like that i'm hearing that as well so this is giving me like you get up in the morning you go walking um you go exercise you come back home you do some work you come you spend time with the kids you sitting in meditation receiving answers you're reflecting over certain things something like that as well but you're going to be receiving messages over the weekend yeah i'm hearing taking back your power I don't know why I'm hearing y'all. This is not a bad card for this energy here. This is you taking back what's been stolen from you, okay? Or what people have taken from you. Yeah, you're taking something back or spirit is taking something back. This is like your ancestors is like, hell no. Nah. We worked too damn hard to build these swords for collective. We coming to get this shit back, okay? Yeah. Um. Yeah, something is definitely granted to you, but I feel like somebody tried to steal it. Or they did steal it. I'm hearing confiscate. Or like, yeah, somebody could have tried to hide something from you. But um, yeah, I'm hearing your ancestors is coming to take it back. Or you're taking something back here. Oh, spirit. Eight of Swords, yeah, because somebody tried to trap you, okay, or trap your gifts, or wanted you to doubt yourself, not believe in yourself, stay stuck. Somebody was out here um, trying to wish harm on you, or, you know, I'm here and cause confusion in your life. But, yeah, you're being released. Something here is being released. Spirit, what has the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Something is going back, okay? This is, y'all, this is giving me like for a lot of people. A lot of people who have backstabbed you. These are people you know, people you don't know. Like I said, whoever this person is, they had people gang stalking you, talking about you, trying to um, cast spells on you, allowing your name, try to steal your content or your creativity, try to block your um, creative flow, your creative gifts, cause psychic attacks. Um, yeah, you you had a target here on your back, okay? But now everybody who was targeting you is now being the target. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing here, okay? This could be a Gemini, it don't have to be. But yeah, I'm getting the energy of like Two-Face, okay? Somebody uh, was trying to destroy your name. But at the same time, this is somebody who is in love with you. Okay, yeah. Mm, something is going back. And your gifts are being restored. Look, your gifts are being restored. Your happiness is being restored. <sighs> Anything you can do, I can do better. I think the fuck not. Okay. Yeah, somebody done got defeated. Somebody, um, demons got to let go or they're uh, coming back around for this person or these people. Like I said, this, this was people who was trying to steal your inheritance here or stop you from um, believing in yourself. They wanted to cause fear in your li life, doubt. But no, okay, this could be a Capricorn. This was somebody who um, had a lot of attachments is what I'm hearing. There was a lot that was attached to this person. 
and I am picking up low vibrational energies. Everything that this person thought that they was going to build or grow without you and using your energy or using um, what you possess to get it, they, they can't, okay? They cannot. Spirit is saying let go. They're going to have to let go or they have let go. Our spirit is breaking the, the cores or the chain here. Okay, it's like they wanted to tie their self to your energy. They wanted to manipulate or gaslight you. So, like, this trap was meant for you, but I feel like there's a person or a group of people that's walking in a trap. Somebody is angry because they can't create with without you. Or, yeah, something is not getting up the, off the ground without you. And they see this now. They could have went to other people thinking that they would help them or it would be better on that side. But, but I feel like everything done fell to chaos. And now they want to come back. They want to come back. They in regret. They are in a lot of regret. This is somebody who um, is, is having very dark days right now. Dark thoughts. I'm hearing intrusive thoughts as well. There's some type of evil plan that did not work. This was, like I said, somebody who was also turning other people against you. And these other people could have tried to cause um, chaos in your life or try to, like, put spells on you so that, you know, you won't come back to this person or you won't be happy or you don't find love or, you know, you turn ugly or some shit like that. Your hair fall out. But everything is going back. Okay. Yeah, they walked into a trap. It it's a group of people out here don't walk in a trap. Okay, while you gone. Okay, you baby, you taking off. And I feel like all these other karmics here are trapped. Because they tried to build their life off of your destiny, off of your happiness. Somebody could have tried to um, steal a divine from you, a divine connection, a divine person. This could have been a masculine or a feminine. But I feel like this situation done blew up. It's done been destroyed. The hardest part is over. So yeah, you're taking some type of action here, but I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race. You got your eyes on the prize. And I feel like, you know, you're not, you're not rushing this. You're taking your time, like I said, but you're paying close attention to detail. You could be analyzing the situation or looking at something here really closely. There, you're looking at an offer. I feel like over the weekend, you guys are looking at an offer or looking at a new opportunity. And this is like you finessing this, okay? Um, I'm almost getting like perfection, craftsmanship. You're crafting something. Yeah, something about... Hmm. Let's see. What is here? Baby, the sun, what? Enlightenment, truth, clarity, happiness, joy, peace, excitement. So there's an offer here that you guys are looking at or something you are about to embark on that's going to bring in a lot of happiness. It's going to free up your time, your energy, your space. It's going to uh, enable you to have a better life. This is something that's going to constantly put out. Yeah, I'm hearing Ray of Sunshine. I'm hearing that song, I Got a Pocket Full of Sunshine. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're not gonna let nobody take this from you. Yeah, sticks and stones are never gonna break me. Okay, are never gonna shake me. So yeah, family, yeah, despite people doing sticks and stones at you, this didn't shake you. This actually made you stronger. It actually pushed you on your path quicker. Okay, I'm seeing like something being speeded up. You could be um, a Leo, okay? Um, but I'm seeing this picking up for you. There's gifts coming in. You're going to be rewarded for something here. Yeah. Yeah, you're um, putting in energy to have a better life is what I'm hearing. Okay, a better outcome, a better foundation. Okay, yeah, baby, what? Ten of Pentacles. This is going to bring in some type of success and happiness, joy. Um, it's going to open up a lot of other opportunities as well. This is giving me like you focusing on one opportunity, one offer here, you completing this and starting another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. You know what I'm saying? This woman look like she don't work that hard. Okay. She at the house with the kids. Um, she done brought, she just brought this beautiful home. Okay. Um, you're not going to have to worry when you get older or when you retire, like everything is going to pay off of you or something here that you're building or creating is going to last you a lifetime. This is something you can pass on. Yeah. Five cups, baby. Spirit, what else? Animals are very active around you. The Seven of Cups here actually came out. So, yeah, some type of illusion here is being released. Or, like like I said, there's animals here that's going to show you people that come to you and they're putting on some type of illusion. I'm here and trust your animals. Or trust your animal gifts. Okay? Something about your animal gifts. Your animal spirit guides. You can see certain animal spirit guides when you're around certain people. And I feel like that's going to give you a hint or a clue, okay, to like stay away from these people or something. Yeah, because they want something that you have or they want to take one of these cups or something like that. Yeah. Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, this, this could be people who want to start over with you. But you are like you can see the truth about them you can see like if they're fake or you know if they're bringing like a phony offer towards you you can even have like dreams of like snakes okay we got a snake in this car or you could dream about like foxes or you could see a fox okay but i'm hearing visions as well You know, when somebody is loyal or faithful, you could like visualize a, a, a lion or um, a dog. Something about animals here also um, is sending you messages. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio or your Scorpio. But I'm seeing something in your life um, being revealed. But there's people who also want to have access to this. Yeah. Nine of Wands. And when the Five of Wands. It's th these karmics are fighting amongst themselves. Okay. Or there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot going on in their life at this time. I'm picking up like spirit is causing destruction in their life at this time. And there's somebody who's running from it, but I feel like this person was the cause of it. Or somebody is wanting to run from it. But I'm hearing they're running straight into it, or they can't outrun this. They can't run from this. This is something that they're going to have to, like, face. Somebody is wanting to run from conflict and come towards you. Trust how you feel about this person. They everybody on the judgment, okay? Yeah, 
everybody on the judgment for fucking with this empress. I'm telling you, everybody is on the judgment. Now these people know who you are. Like they didn't know you was chosen or you was anointed or spirit had a calling on your name. But now they do and they know they're on the judgment. They took some action against you and now they're in regret because they don't found out the truth about who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritually bound. The lovers. Two of Cups. Okay, for some of you guys, this is a twin flame that you was dealing with. This person is spiritually bound at this time. They're not allowed to come towards you. They want to come towards you, but they can't. I do feel like spirit is breaking a contract with you and this person. There could be um, a new twin flame that's coming in your life. I'm hearing the second coming. Okay, so this is like a second coven. This could be another person that you know in the past life. But I feel like whoever this new person spirit is sending you is much more better for you. Or this is somebody who have already went through their ascensions. This is somebody who already healed themselves. They want to work with you. They want to grow with you. They want to um, be your protector. They want to... Um, they want to bring healing into your life and peace. I feel like this is somebody that you're actually going to be able to open up your heart to. Yeah, because somebody you was meant to be with um, is spiritually bound. They done did too much. I'm hearing they said too much. Like I said, this was somebody who could have been wishing downfall in your life. And... The spiritual court did not like this. God frowned up on this person when they did certain things to you. So I'm hearing stripped. This is somebody who's being stripped. I just heard no longer a child of mine. So this is giving me like whoever this person is you was dealing with, uh, the, uh, the devil is now their father. Okay. This is somebody who have fallen from God's grace truth you see it you know okay i feel like you are in this queen of cups energy and this queen of swords energy but i'm also hearing um you don't only you're not only using your heart now you're using your mind when it comes to connections like if it if you know that it's no good for you or if you know that somebody already done showed you their true colors you're not gonna just uh, let your heart make decisions no more. This is you seeing clearly. This is you also realizing you have to protect your heart. Or your love is not meant for everybody. You can't share your love with everybody. They have to be on your level, your frequency, on your destination. They have to be part of your mission. This is you guys making very wise choices here. I'm seeing balance, okay? Balance of the mind and the heart. Yeah. Because like I said, you got a destiny, a mission. You are exploring new territory, okay? This is like you, spirit taking you to new lands so you can build and grow and um, adventure on, okay? This is a new beginning for you. And whoever this person that was meant to go with you, they can't go. They stuck. They chained. They chained. Okay? They cannot go with you. Okay? No matter how much they want to or you want them to, they can't go with you. They just can't. So, I don't know who's still in my collective that's thinking about this person. <laughs> Spirit is saying, let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Whew. This person, by bad. Why they keep popping up? I don't know. Look, I don't know. Um, yeah, two of swords. Somebody is being blocked. Because right now you are building. You're changing. You're using what God gave you to get what you want. 
Okay, yeah, I'm here using what my father gave me in order to get what I want or what I need. Okay, this is using your skills, your talents, um, your divine gifts, your knowledge. Yeah, because you're coming out of some type of... Uh, you're coming out of some type of... Um, this is giving me like dark days where you didn't have enough or you wasn't financially stable. You wasn't able to provide for yourself or your family the way you wanted to. Um, it could have been illnesses, okay? Or, you know, you went through a lot here. Nothing was growing, nothing was changing. You lost a lot. Somebody could have caused you to lose a lot as well. But you're coming out of this phase in your life. And we got the King of Pentacles. So, yeah, you, this is you, you're coming up, okay? I'm hearing um, the last will be first and the first shall be last. So, I'm, I'm seeing that family, you're going to be put first. Or a spirit is putting you first. Or the roles done been flipped. Something here has changed. There's people who wish downfall on you that's being left out in the cold, very confused, stuck in their head about you and what you're creating and building here or how much success that you have. And I feel like you're looking the other way. You're looking the other way. Spirit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know why I hear all fairness and love and war or something like that, but this is giving me justice and karma. Okay. Um, we might not always get justice in this physical world, but the spiritual justice system don't forget nothing. Somebody is paying for the, th the things that they've done. Yeah, somebody's paying for the things that they have done. The confusion that they don't cause. Their life is falling out of balance. This is somebody who need help. Like I said, a fallen angel. I feel like spirit don't rule against this person. This is somebody who's done falling from God's grace. They can't come back. I'm hearing they cannot come back. If you allow this person to come back, everything that you build is going to crumble. Yeah, this person is in trouble. Somebody is in trouble, trouble. This is giving me as above, so below. Whatever is going on in the spiritual realm, this part, somebody is going to be in trouble here. Yeah. So let's see, y'all. Ooh, where am I at? Mm -mm -mm. Time be flying when you be trying to do these readings. Anything else the collective is needing to know for this weekend, spirit? Yeah, yeah. All of that energy finna go back. Somebody is still watching you, keeping tabs on you, want to know what you're doing. They want to feast off of your meal or off of your abundance here. Somebody see that you are growing, okay? They see that people love you or you are gaining a lot of attention or recognition at this time. I feel like there's a massive change that's going to be taking place between now and Thanksgiving. Somebody could have been born um, in November or um, I'm hearing Scorpio or Sagittarius. Or um, um, Sagittarius or Cusp, something like that. But somebody is watching your blessings. Or somebody see that whatever that they had that was yours, they no longer have possession of it. Yeah, somebody finna watch you feast, okay? They're gonna watch you feast at your own table. Yeah, I'm hearing glow up. You're going through a glow up 
but a lot of you guys, this is you being self-made. This is you doing something on your own, all right? And you are going to have a lot of haters that's watching you, but I feel like right now you are preparing. Or this is something that um, is on the way, okay? But it's because you're putting in the work. I'm hearing you can hate me now, but I won't stop now. So, yeah, you don't care about these motherfuckers hating on you. You just don't. This is you living your best life, okay? And I feel like when you get to this point, you're no longer going to be cute and quiet, okay? The spirit is wanting for you to shine, to be happy, to come out. You know what I'm saying? You be cute and quiet when you're working on things. But once you get it, baby, enjoy it, okay? You ain't got to be like, oh, my God, I hope they don't see me. I don't want them to know where I live. Yeah, don't, you ain't got to be like that. You, she said on this stairway saying, I wish a motherfucker would. I wish you would bring your ass over here and try to steal something that belongs to me. Yeah. It look like somebody who got security. Yeah, family, you got security here. There's security that's coming into your life. Okay? You putting in at work and you ain't playing. This is you operating in your feminine and your masculine energy. Okay? Yes. I'm here and fixing the parts, okay? Or fix, there's, you could have had to fix something before you kept going, but I'm seeing that, um, yeah, you fixed it or everything is working out. This could be a car. For some of you guys, this could be a computer or something in your life you had to fix first, but everything is working out. Some of you guys, you could fix cars, okay? Or somebody could have taught you how to fix cars. You might even be thinking about starting your own um, car lot. I'm hearing mechanics, okay? Something about custom. Some custom. You could like doing stuff like that. I like doing stuff like that. I love fixing up a car, for real. My uncle taught me how to work on cars when I was little. So I love getting on the hood. I love to uh, learn how to paint and do that other stuff. But yeah, I'm getting for some of you guys, you're not only feminine, you could step in your masculine energy. You could be a tomboy as well. But yeah, you got people who's mad at you because they watching your life progress. They're watching you have a healthy um, work environment. They see cash flow coming in. You making money, okay? Not working that hard, okay? You could have had to work it hard at first, but something here is going to get a lot lighter. It's going to get lighter for you. You could end up having people work for you. Some of you guys, you're about to quit a job soon, okay? Because you self-made. Like, what you need to work for somebody else for, okay? This is you sitting back enjoying this. <clears throat> enjoying the fruits of your labor, yeah. Cupid's arrow. <laughs> okay, you got love coming in. And I feel like also that's what this King of Swords is representing here. Okay, a new love interest. Because somebody here did fall from God's grace. Somebody here was kicked out of your life because they didn't want to play fairly or they wanted to build off of you or like they wanted to take money and run or some shit like that. You got love coming in, real love. And we got to match her with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So this is somebody who's very smart, intelligent. This person also could be very analytical. This could be somebody who have a higher position. This could be somebody who... um. It's very, I'm hearing smart. This person is a leader. So I feel like family, something here is working in your favor, but right now you in solitude so you can continue to put in a work or so you can get finished with something. And once you get on solid foot, footing, this person is going to be coming in towards you. So it could be um, a Pisces, don't have to be, but I'm seeing Valentine's. But, um, yeah, this person is coming towards you. It could be an air sign. Or this person could come to you in one of the air signs um, seasons. But, yeah. So, y'all, that's what I got. 
I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Look at the bottom of the deck, animals, okay? Pay attention to the animals, y'all. Please do. Whether this is in a vision, a dream, or physical, pay attention to the animals, how they behave, how they act, what they do, okay? Pay attention to them, for real. I feel like you got a strong bond with animals, okay? They're helping you bring in some type of celebration here. But y'all, anyway, I love y'all, okay? I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.